Awesome. Well, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Jeffrey Wong. I am the founder of MyWikis and a co-founder of MyWikis Europe. Um, and I'm also a contributor to the Canasta project. And uh, today, you'll get to hear some hopefully exciting updates uh, about the Canasta project since April of 2023, this year. So for those of you who have not heard of Canasta yet, it's an all-in-one MediaWiki package for sysadmins uh, that makes it easy to manage MediaWiki, um, add extensions and, uh, and skins, and load starter content and data structures. Uh, the example I've given in the past is if MediaWiki is a Raspberry Pi, then you can think of Canasta as a can of kit. So instead of getting MediaWiki um, on your own and then spending hours upon hours getting int very, um, introduced to the various extensions, and then learning how to install these extensions like Cirrus Search and Semantic MediaWiki. Um, yeah, that takes a lot of time and it's a lot of work. And don't even talk about maintaining it afterwards. It just takes forever. So what if I could tell you that there is a way that you can avoid all of that? You can use Canasta. You can save literally days of unnecessary work um, by using the uh, platform that we've built on. And Canasta was originally developed by a mini consortium of three companies in the enterprise media wiki industry, uh, Wikitech, Wikiworks, and MyWikis. And then today, um, you know, it's expanded to more people, but um, all in all, we share a common goal in sponsoring the development of Canasta, which is to make a fully featured, easy to maintain uh, media wiki instance possible for all to use not controlled by any single entity, and available online as free and open source software. Um, we want to make sysadmins' jobs much easier, especially for the re reluctant sysadmin who has to do it just because they want to run a wiki. Um, that was the brief um, explanation of why Canasta exists. For those of you who, are not, um, who have not heard of it before, let me quickly reorient my state of things so I can probably present it a little better. Okay, so, so let's start with this. Um, yeah, so the base of Canasta is based off of Docker, but Canasta is not just a Docker image. It's actually comprised of three components uh, that are closely intertwined. The foundation of Canasta is the tech stack that it's known for. Um, it's what makes MediaWiki easier to manage and enables the other two components to make maximal impact. And on top of the tech stack is Canasta's very large uh, extension and skin collection. And it's currently comprised of over 150 uh, extensions and I think 10 skins that are bundled with uh, Canasta. And because they're bundled, it's extremely easy to install them. All you have to do is add that WF load uh, thing on the local settings. And finally, at the top is the starter pages and data structures, which we call uh, packages. And these aim to solve the blank page problem by reducing contribution inertia and providing best practices for wiki editors. Um, these three components work together to provide the value that Canasta aims to deliver. You can use, you know, you can use parts of it by yourself and not the others, that's fine. But uh, it, they're all available for you to use together if you want to make the most out of it. And on the side is uh, the CLI, which was developed, um, I believe, uh, last year. You can use it to, you know, easily uh, maintain the tech stack and things like that. I'll, I'll explain later. Um, and I do apologize for those who have seen this presentation before. This is a refresher for anyone who has not seen it before. I'll try to speed up and get to the interesting parts. Um, so yeah, Canasta, it's both beginner friendly and suitable for MediaWiki experts. Um, a new update is that the U.S. Space Force is now using Canasta um, to run their wikis. Um, and all of the you know, organizations listed here have benefited from the decreased set of time, ease of applying updates, a reduction of services to maintain, and you know, they're able to greatly simplify the maintenance of the remaining services. And they also benefit from the ability to scale the wikis using the orchestrator. Um, and it gives us more time to work on other more exciting development projects and lets us stop doing IT, start doing more development. Um, 
a quick update on the statistics. It's been nearly one and a half years since Canasta was first released to the public in April 2022 at EMWCon 2022. Since then, the Canasta web image has been downloaded nearly 40,000 times, and the project's code repos receive uh, frequent updates from various contributors, both within and outside of the MediaWiki stakeholders <coughs> and enterprise MediaWiki communities. And a lot of ideas are being proposed every month now about the future direction of Canasta. Um, yeah, real quick, we have over 150 uh, extensions and skins now. Ex ignore the 100, it should be 150. Um, the great thing about these is, you know, um, they're not enabled by default. None of them are enabled by default, but all you have to do is add that WF load uh, function call to your local settings to get it added. Um, really quickly, we have certain criteria for what extensions we're able to add. Um, you can ask me for more information later if you'd like. Um, really quickly, I want to kind of go back to packages, though, because we haven't really talked about this in the past. Um, I know I just de demoed um, the Canasta project management package uh, in April, but we didn't call it packages back then. But basically, all the starter pages and data structures that you have, we're calling them packages now. And um, it's, again, it helps defeat the blank page problem. If you're telling someone, here's our company's wiki, go edit it. Well, what do you, where do you start, right? It's so much harder for someone to um, start with a blank slate than for you to tell them to do something. Like Lex always has told me, right? Um, if you want someone to do something, it's easier to just give them something to start with, even if it's wrong, even if it's, you know, a base case to start with and not the best. Same concept here. You definitely want people to start with something. And we hope that the four uh, default starter packages um, that we have so far, including, you know, the consulting CRM, the widgets, the uh, project management, et cetera, uh, that these are helpful for a lot of business use cases. And um, we hope you'll give it a try. They're all built on page exchange, which is an extension that's included with Canasta. And there's more info on the Canasta wiki page uh, at canasta.wiki slash packages. <coughs> and in the future, we do want to uh, try and get the CLI to enable installing these packages immediately. Um, since we're at SMWCon, I wanted just to say, like, why, um, how does Canasta relate to SMW? So Canasta includes Semantic Media Wiki as one of the extensions. And in fact, it also includes all these other common SMW extensions. Um, so this, all you mean, sorry, all this means is you just need to add that WFload extension um, line, and you have SMW. And adding the other extensions is as simple as just making those calls as well. Um, and for those of you who, you know, who have maintained SMW um, instances before, we all know that they're a little bit more uh, resource needy than a regular MediaWiki instance would look like. So it's a very powerful tool, but there's a lot of technical challenges. So some common problems that we face include, you know, the upgrade key and the refreshes and running the job queues. So that functioning job queue is quite necessary for Semantic Media Wiki to propagate changes to its data database tables. But if you just set up your own Media Wiki and you don't you know, set up the, um, a cron job to run your job queue, Semantic Media Wiki is not going to work. And most first time users don't really know how to do that. I certainly didn't know how to do that when I was you know, uh, 10 years old trying to install Media Wiki. So, why should we expect that from anyone else? But with Canasta, you don't have to worry about that at all because we have that all built in already. You don't even have to write any other you know, PHP code in your local settings. As long as you include uh, Semantic Media Wiki in the, as the, with the WF load, it already does all this for you. And you can still run maintenance scripts manually like the below code example I've uh, pasted over here. And uh, last year at SMWCon, we had a lot of questions about how Canasta and OpenCSP work together. So um, some people said we should merge. Other people said, you know, why are you competing with each other? And the answer is, well, Canasta doesn't do that. 
Uh, Canasta is not a dead end. And what I, be, what I mean by that is using Canasta does not lock you down to an opinion-weighted way to set up and configure your wiki. On the contrary, Canasta is meant to be very flexible. And it's a great foundation on which you can build your own wiki stack. Um, OpenCSP can run on Canasta because OpenCSP is a great tailored and opinionated software bundle that can run on a variety of different web server configurations, whether on the cloud or on premises. Canasta does not inhibit OpenCSP from proliferating its co uh, collection of skin styles, extensions, and configurations. It's, of course, still possible to just use the default layers that Canasta comes with, but just know that everything above Everything above that tech stack is completely customizable. So everything that is not in blue is customizable. All right, so updates. Since April 2023, we've made a few notable changes. So first, we revise our release schedule and versioning system to fit use cases requiring stability while ensuring unimpeded access to new features for those who always need the latest features. Second, we have now deprecated support for Docker Compose v1 and only support v2. Third, we've worked on fine tuning the Apache and PHP FPM configuration for better performance and scalability. But last but not certainly least, we are excited to announce a wishlist feature that we've had for a long time, which is Wikifarm support. So before I talk about Wikifarm, so let me just quickly dive back into the new release schedule, um, get the boring stuff out of the way first. Uh, as of early this year, Canasta now operates on a two-track release schedule, stable and latest. And the reason we did this is because some companies need stability, others need to be on the cutting edge. Uh, so the latest will now receive new changes immediately as soon as they um, pass the muster needed to build and run successfully and be merged into the um, main branch. On the other hand, stable only takes certain commits in the latest branch that we deem to be uh, mature enough and then publish them once we believe they're ready. So we anticipate stable to be a few months behind uh, the latest on average. Um, but the good news is, uh, you know, with stable, it's built in a way such that it's always tagged with a specific number and you can refer back to that tag and if you set your wiki or your Canasta instance to just use that version tag, it won't change to a new one. Uh, so we encourage people who need to use a stable version of Canasta to pick that specific tag um, so that they can continue to get that stability. And then for people who want to use the latest version of Canasta, you just choose the latest tag, like the, literally the word latest as a tag, and you'll get the latest version. All right, so Wikifarms. Um, first, I'll start with what a Wikifarm is. It's a collection of wikis sharing underlying resources and typically relating to a common cause. Uh, this typically means that they share the same web server or group of web servers and potentially also share the same user database. Uh, the hundreds of wikis hosted by the Wikimedia Foundation operate as a large wiki farm. That's the biggest example of one and the most well-known one uh, since they're all hosted on the same infrastructure. And uh, fun fact, any of their web servers that you hit can handle any of the hundreds of Wikimedia Foundation wikis. So I could use the same server to hit w the English Wikipedia, the German Wikipedia, the English Wiki Voyage, the, I don't know, the Chinese Wiktionary. They can all handle it. And it's a wonderful architecture that, uh, you know, it, it really kind of lets you stretch your mind and think like, wow, like, can we do this for ourselves too? If we're just a small, you know, wiki family? And uh, yes, the answer is yes. Um, yeah. And I want to make it very clear, though, that in today's discussion, I'm not going to talk about wiki hosts. So wiki hosts would be like um, fandom, my wikis, um, and a few others, right? The wiki hosts are meant for uh, a disparate set of wikis for different people and different purposes, usually allowing the general public to create their own wiki on there. Uh, that's not the use case that Canasta's wiki family or wiki farm um, support is meant to address here. Um, this is just for wiki farms. But with that being said, I'm excited to announce that as of today, um, Canasta now supports wiki farms. And because this is a major breaking change in Canasta, we're calling the release of Wikifarm support Canasta 2.0. The Canasta image, 
the Canasta Stack repo and the Canasta CLI have all been updated now to support Wiki Farms. You can download the latest version of the Canasta CLI to get started with using it. And Canasta's Wiki Farm support was written by our 2023 Google Summer of Code contributor, Cheng Hao Liu, who was a graduate student at the University of California at San Diego. So how did we do it? Um, our implementation of Wiki Farms is inspired by the Wikimedia Foundation's approach. We have one single instance of Canasta, uh, which would typically comprise of one web container, um, and we make it be able to handle requests for multiple wikis. So it's just like what I said earlier, right? Now we can have one server that handles all these different wikis on this wiki farm. Um, however, each wiki is still going to have its own MySQL database. So we're not sharing databases. We're still having separate ones. Um, the correct wiki settings and database will be quote unquote selected based on which URL is being called by the user when they're accessing the server. Uh, the Canasta Wiki Farm is defined by a YAML configuration file, which, uh, sorry, whose schema we have set as you know the Canasta developers, and using this approach allows us to take advantage of the PHP opcode cache, uh, since all wikis will use the same MediaWiki code base. It can be cached once on the very first page execution, um, support all future executions with limited uh, to no changes uh, in that opcode and it can be reused until the end of the container's life. So currently, we support three different use cases for um, the URL structures of the wiki farms. The first is if we have a different directory on the same domain. The second is if we have different subdomains. And the third is if we have different disparate domains altogether. And the great news is these three use cases can even be mixed together. And and a few new concepts for wiki farms in Canasta. So for sysadmins, we now have a few things for you, a few additional things for you to remember. The first thing is now we have a file called wikis.yaml. That's where the wikis are defined for this farm. The syntax is going to be very simple. It's shown right over here below. Um, each entry in the list needs two attributes, the wiki ID and the URL, which the wiki should be accessible. Second, the Canasta ID is now the ID for the farm as a whole and not for a specific wiki. The wiki ID identif identifies an individual wiki within the farm. The good news is I think the transition to Canasta 2.0 from Canasta v1 is meant to be as seamless as possible. There is a slightly different process for creating wikis on Canasta 2.0 because now you can create multiple wikis at the same time. Um, and the recommended way, which I will show you in a bit, is to create a wikis.yaml file with all the desired wikis you want, and then you run that Canasta create command while passing the wikis.yaml file. After that, it's as simple as filling out a few questions and letting the CLI do the, all the heavy lifting for you. And once your wiki farm is created, the CLI makes it easy to add or remove wikis from the farm. So all of these um, wiki farm changes that we have are all um, supported by new CLI commands or revised CLI commands, which means you don't have to do any of the manual local settings you know, modifications. The CLI handles it all for you. And the changes you make with the CLI commands will be reflected in that wikis.yaml file. Uh, but keep in mind that any Canasta instance must always have at least one wiki at all times. See, there's no such thing as a Canasta wiki farm with zero wikis. If you ever want to change wiki's ID, you can edit wikis.yaml, uh, although we don't really recommend that because then you'll have to change the database name as well. But uh, you can edit the um, wiki's URL very easily by just editing that same wikis.yaml uh, configuration file. And we've um, changed the structure of the configuration folder. So now we have um, the common settings are in a config slash common settings.php file. Each wiki's unique settings are now in a subdirectory underneath the config folder. And share settings are going to be under the config slash settings folder. And that does mean that the wiki ID cannot be called settings anymore. But, or sorry, yeah, you can have a wiki called settings. But I think that's a very small price to pay for this architectural design. Anyhow. Um, since the concept of wiki farm can be a bit confusing, I will clarify about what's going to be shared and what's not going to be shared in this implementation. As mentioned earlier, the Docker containers for the web server, Caddy, Varnish, and Elasticsearch, they're going to be shared across all of the wikis. 
uh, for that wiki farm. One of each will collectively power all the wikis in that farm. And additionally, when creating the wikis, the initial admin username and password are going to be shared between the wikis. But on the other hand, the databases are going to be separate. And certain tables, if you want, like the user account table or the actors table, could be shared with uh, WG shared DB and WG shared tables. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to transition to a really quick demo of how we can install a Canasta wiki farm. So I'm going to slightly need the audience's participation here. Um, because to show you that this is not hard coded and that this is an actual live demo, I need the audience's um, proposal on what wiki ID we should call it. The domain. Hmm? The domain? The domain. We want to call the wiki ID the domain. Yeah, sure. All right. No, no, no. I mean, hmm? what do we have to uh, propose? <laughs> I need, um, well, okay, no one's going to be buying a domain in the next two minutes, right? So I just need a... Um, <laughs> so what do you need? I, I don't work for GoDaddy anymore. I need um, a wiki ID name. Like, for instance, someone's wiki ID could be, you know, the train wiki or, you know, the camera wiki or something like that. A train wiki. Okay. Train wiki. I well, think by now everybody understands that we... Uh, Carefully prepared. Yes, yes. Yeah. Just to just to make sure that <laughs> just <laughs> just to make sure that this that odd is not a plant. Anyone else wants to say a random English word? Aubergine. Okay, eggplant. Got it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to our um, Azure VM. And as you can see above, I've already uh, installed the Canasta CLI uh, command earlier. And uh, because I'm a daredevil, like always, I'm going to just do this live and hope it works. Um, so let's see. So we are going to go into the demo. F well, actually, first, let me shut down the existing one that I had. Um, I think it's the C2 CLI test farm, and I'll do uh, sudo canasta stop, yeah. Okay, now let me move back to the demo. Oops. Okay, great. So what I need to start with here is a wikis.yaml file. So I'm really sorry if Mark Hirschberger is watching, but I'm not using Emacs. I'm going to be using Vim to edit this. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, create two different wikis, and I'm going to use train and eggplant. So it's going to be as simple as putting in train, and I can do um, canasta test four dot mywikis dot net slash train, and then eggplant. Uh, I'll do canasta test five dot mywikis dot net slash eggplant. So this is a combination of different subdomains and uh, different subdirectories. And I've done Canasta, Canasta test 4 and 5 because I've already uh, pointed the DNS over there to this server. That's why. Um, I'm not going to do another URL, but just know that in theory it would work if I had the DNS settings done correct or you know done appropriately. So um, now all I'm going to do is type in sudo canasta create dash f wikis.yaml. I'm going to add the new Canasta ID, which in this case is going to be test farm, th or sorry, does someone want to give another uh, ID? Let's do test farm three, because the ID of the farm doesn't really matter itself. Admin name. And it's going to create the installation. And then once that's done, 
um, we should be able to visit it um, immediately, actually. Um, but let's let's wait for it to finish. So you don't need a key to use the Canesta CLI? A key? Yeah, I thought when I tinkered around with it uh, sometime in the past that you needed a key to use the C CLI commands. Some kind of configuration key that could be generated by you. Or is that some... I'm sorry, I'm... Not sure exactly what that would be in this case, um, but uh, let's see. Just waiting for this to complete now. Um, so what it's doing in the background is just uh, copying all the files as appropriate. So now if you will give it a few seconds. Okay, great, wonderful. So, I'm going to now share my screen to um, my browser. All right, so now we have Canasta test for .mywikis.net slash train. And then this one for eggplant, it also works. I can sign in with the admin account that I made. <coughs> and uh, yeah, you can be able to do that as well. So yeah, feel free to uh, visit these URLs if you uh, want to see it for yourself. But essentially, this is, these two wikis are separate wikis. I can even, you know, change this and say test train wiki. And I can see this. And then here, this is uh, the eggplant wiki. And these are two different pages, two different wikis. Awesome. Well, uh, let's see. One sec. All right. Cool. So, what is next for Canasta? Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm. Um, we worked really hard this summer on getting this uh, wiki farm support set up because of all the different cases that you can handle, you know, how versatile the URL structure can be, um, and uh, the way that we have, you know, had these um, uh, configurations all set up. Uh, it's been quite a challenge, and uh, Chung Hao was, um, was a, you know, a great GSOC contributor. So uh, I think he's watching right now from China, where it's in the evening. So hats off to you, Chung Hao. Thank you so much for um, what you've done this year. Um, you know, it has been, it provides such a you know new world of opportunities, um, and speaking of the change, essentially uh, now that we have Canasta 2.0, existing Canasta instances can be pretty easily migrated because all you have to do is create that new wikis.yaml um, file, and then you know spin it up uh, with the new Canasta 2.0 format. You can migrate over your configuration files. Uh, uh, from your you know old Canasta 1.0 uh, you know folders into the individual wiki configuration folders in V2. But after that, um, what is even next for Canasta? So first, um, adding custom composer files has been difficult to accomplish due to the intricacies with the composer merge plugin. Technical considerations uh, require further discussions on how to best implement the customization of wiki's composer support. We've made progress on this discussion since uh, EMWCon in spring 2023, but we still require more discussions and development to fully resolve this issue. Uh, second, we need to refine support for orchestrators other than Docker Compose. 
Specifically, we have ongoing discussions about the best way to design our Kubernetes implementation, including creating Helm charts uh, to ease the deployment of Kubernetes instances. And on two separate related notes, we also intend to add Kubernetes support to the CNAS CLI. Uh, so wikis can be created using Kubernetes with just one CLI command. We also hope to improve support for cloud container services that are independent of Kubernetes, uh, such as A um, Amazon's uh, ECS and Azure Container Instances. We made some progress on these topics this past summer, thanks to the Google Summer of Code program, but we are still working on driving these initiatives to closure. Uh, we've been using uh, Docker Compose because the primary strength is it's lightweight, uh, you know, simple and straightforward to use. Um, our CLI has been built around Docker Compose, uh, but the lack of complexity, not the but, sorry, the lack of complexity though, um, it allows the CNAS developers to easily develop those abstractions that you've seen over Docker Compose while achieving our original goals. But we know that um, Kubernetes is a much more powerful orchestrator that a lot of companies need. So um, we hope to enhance our Kubernetes ecosystem by you know, building those tools leverage Helm. And um, eventually we also want to add support for having multiple Canasta containers or horizontal scaling. Um, yeah. So this way, like if we have like a really big wiki farm, for instance, then we could have multiple uh, Docker containers. Uh, they could be physically separate, you know, serving the same wiki farm. So anyway, uh, with all that being said, um, I am personally very grateful to uh, everybody for all the support that Canasta has received from the EMW and SMW communities since Canasta's inception. Um, I've been, you know, oh, oh, this internet connection is unstable. No. Okay, hope everything's okay. But um, just, I will just continue going. Um, like, you know, I know that I come up here. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. So, um, sorry, let me get back to this. Um, I know that I come up here, you know, every EMW and SMW con since <laughs> April of 2022 talking about Canasta, and each time I kind of give the same spiel, but in all seriousness, you know, I do try to come up here and give uh, the latest updates to Canasta, and uh, hopefully every single time, you know, I come here and provide some more additional uh, enticing new features for it to be even more usable by, uh, you know, more people. And I'm so happy that the community has rallied around Canasta as an effective modern approach to running MediaWiki instances, um, because as a result, we've been able to grow Canasta and add all these features, including today's new Wikifarm feature. Um, but Canasta's future success still depends upon our community continuing to support the development of the project. So that will require uh, further code contributions, feature proposals, and discussions on the future direction of the project. So to keep Canasta thriving in the future, we have three asks. Um, first, Canasta always appreciates new development contributions. We need uh, lots of work to be done for adding new but essential features, and the more contributors and the more users of Canasta, uh, the better it will be for everybody. Second, the future of Canasta is up, for the, up to the community to decide. And I encourage everyone to join the Canasta uh, mailing list at groups.google.com slash g slash canasta.wiki um, and attend our biweekly cadence meetings, which are currently on Thursdays at, um, nine plus, I believe it's at 5 UTC. Oh, sorry, not 5, um, 1700 UTC. Um, so 5 p.m. GMT, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not, if you join this, not only will you be able to keep up to date with the latest developments, but the mailing list is also where you can, you know, talk with us to make important decisions uh, for the future development direction of Canasta. Um, it also has the details on how you can join those uh, biweekly Zoom meetings. Third, to fund the development of Canasta, um, we need your financial support to sustain our development -ish initiatives. Um, we do have the Google Summer of Code uh, program, but I'll be totally honest with you, um, this year we almost didn't get a contributor because Google is going through their own 
budgetary concerns. So we almost did not have Wikifarm uh, feature support added this year because of Google. Um, so it really is crucial for us to get support for people, you know, um, to be completely frank with you, in this economy, young people who are in college are desperate for a paid internship. So, you know, for, you know, the price of, you know, a few cups of coffee, if everyone here contributed, we would be able to fund a summer's worth of uh, Canasta development by a, you know, um, a young developer um, to give them a stipend to work on this. And uh, last but not least, a small request of, uh, for those of you who have any page packages to potentially contribute. Um, please, if you have anything to help, you know, uh, define a structure for Wiki, please um, talk with us and see how you could help uh, create a page package and add that to Canasta. So for more information about Canasta, you can visit our website and um, our GitHub issues. Um, and our GitHub issues is where we talk about um, bug reports, but also feature requests. So I know we're a little low on time, but I'd like to open the floor to questions now. Thank you. Yeah.